What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as Ethiopia with the Secret Societies game mode, update, whatever you want to call it, that we're playing on it <laughs> as Ethiopia, the new Civ. I know they're, I think they were the most, actually the most popular Civ 6 mod. I've never really used modded Civs in Civ 6. Um, I haven't really got through all these regular Civs yet, playing as them that often and stuff, so I guess that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ethiopia was quite a popular one, but now we've got a vanilla one. Well, or just one that's in the game anyway, I should say. So that's fine, we're playing as them. We've got a settler on the way in two turns. We've got an amenities problem. We've got a very quick growing population. We've got a religion. And I want to see who are we competing with. So at the moment, there's only one religion. Okay. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, oh, that's just a pantheon. Am I right in thinking the Congo can't get their religious settlements? The Congo can't get a religion, can they? It's their unique ability. I might be wrong. So we'll see. But it says there's five religions available. There is eight civs in the game. So that's still a lot of competition. But we'll see what we can do. And I should be able to purchase with faith. Yeah, so I can get a missionary. We can actually get a couple of those. We'll start spreading maybe just to the city-states. Always a good good way to start, I guess. And I'll be holding on to my diplomatic favor. I haven't had any in my recent games. Quite conquest-focused games. The Ottoman one. I just didn't have any favor at any point in that entire series. So... I would like to have some this game, so I'm not going to be giving that away too cheaply anytime soon. But our units did a good job. We cleared up cleared up some of the issues. Right, nothing is boosted, so that's a good start. We have not founded a city on the coast just yet. Horseman unit or swordsman? Must be built on a desert hill tile. Awards 6 iron per turn. Provides 4 faith to all your cities that are within 6 tiles. Do we have a desert hill? No. That that does sound really good, but we don't have a desert hill, so that is an issue. <laughs> uh, mathematics. Okay, let's get mathematics. It leads to some cool stuff. Build three different districts. Actually, this, is there anything we could boost? In theory, is there anything we could get boosted instead? Build an iron mine. Build a pasture. Build an oh, I build pasture, build ancient walls. I mean, I can try and boost. I'll try and build these other things while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, that'll be the plan. Right, we're already converting our neighboring cities, so that's good. I think if we just, we just run, let's just go to the Congo capital. I'm gonna go a safer route, but I mean, we may as well just go and see what happens. And let's grab another missionary. So there we go. Spend that early faith we have built up. I can't even see. It won't let me look at who else is close to a religion, but we already have five followers. It's all going great. All going great. Theology. Yes, let's get theology. It's a quite a religious, religious topic. <laughs> temple will be available. The Mabodi Temple. That could be a good wonder for us to try and get. I don't know. Maybe? I, I guess so. Alright, water mill. Bonus resources improved by farms will gain one food each. And cities must be adjacent to a river. Well, this one certainly is. Um, one food, one production. It's pretty good. Ancient Walls will give us a boost. Library. I was going to say the city dropped in population, but no, the Settler settler did pop out. Now, I need to settle on hills. Oh, minus 14 loyalty. Dang it, Egypt. They settled right there. We do benefit from settling on hills. That is something, but there is literally no hills. None of this green area or grey area contains a single hill. Like... That is, thanks Gabe, there isn't it, I can't even see, there's a hill there, that is the nearest hill, oh there's one here look, like that is outrageous, I don't know why I can't settle here, I mean the city states will be mad, but it's not gonna negatively impact them, I mean here could work, but I, from these loyalty signs I'm assuming there's a sieve here right, oh there's Shaka, it's probably him, um, so I'm just gonna come down here where I planned to initially, before I remembered about the hills, I'll just go down there. Warrior, you come to. And then we'll probably send one over this way anyway and just hope <laughs> hope that Egypt don't steal it back of us. Stonehenge, still available. Another great profit. We could just try and get it to steal it from somebody else. I'm going to go for a trader now. I think we do. No, wait, what do we need? Ancient walls, pasture, iron mine. We need a builder to get a pasture. In fact, we need... That's a camp, isn't it? Or is it a pasture for truffles? No. I don't know. <laughs> um... I need to learn my animal husbandry. Nope, I, I thought we might be able to buy that horse, but I just misjudged it. Never mind. Okay, we'll probably not be able to do any of those things, so we'll just get a trader instead. 
don't worry. We could build the ancient walls, I guess, but we'll do that anyway. Yeah, we'll do the ancient walls next, and then, so there's still eight turns left on mathematics, that's fine. Uh, change government, did I not do this? No, we are an oligarchy. Change policies, do we unlock a new one? Production to settlers, I'm going to take that off. I do want another one, but we're not doing it right now. Put one production in. Uh, combat strength, the barbarians. Should keep that on. I normally go for the unit maintenance reduced. Might be soon time to do that, but for now I'll keep the keep the combat strength for now anyway. And our missionaries. How the heck is that one that was further behind moved in front of the other? Oh, okay, it's moving by itself. It's all good. I was like, how is that one slower? But no, there you go. They'll, they'll both head up. Go convert Congo nice and early because I think. They have some... What is the Congo's ability? I want, I want to remember what it is. Where's civilizations? Uh, it's just showing I don't know the alphabet properly. Congo. Two food production, four gold from these things. Okay, great points more. Okay, it must be their leader's ability then. Hang on. Minus leader's... What on earth is his name? November. Here we go. A religious civilization without faith, generation, or holy sites, and one that can grow a huge population. That's the summary. May not build holy sites, gain great profits, or found religions. Gain all beliefs of any religion established itself in its major cities. Okay, yeah, so we, he might even end up helping us, like, spread it. So, probably not, but... We may as well go and try and convert Congo, the nearest. That is our sort of job to convert civs if we want to win this victory. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start working on Congo. And that could be a good one if they're going to, you know, still be going for faith and doing religious stuff without, you know, maybe they just want to, we'll just, what we get? I don't know. We'll just buff up their population too <laughs> with our heavily food-based religion. <laughs> It's a religion we can all get behind. Oh my goodness. They're going to kill me before. This is his fifth city. The fourth one was, you know, a uh, loyalty thing. But still, he's got so many cities. It's getting ridiculous. I am terrified of him right now. But fair enough. We will grab some iron with this city. It will be coastal, so that will at least be a couple of the boosts um, we needed eventually. Right, go on to this city. There is so many stuff, so much stuff here. Scared across the river. There we go. Once we get bridges, that'll be nice. Just not have to. This is the. Look at this river. It goes all along here, then all the way back down here. That's so annoying. Uh, faster movement on hills or in woods and rainforest. There you go. Okay, the settlers going to arrive. Oh, get out of the way, Egypt. <laughs> If they just sat there until, like, forever, until their own settler arrived, that would that would just break my heart. Okay, Barbarian just emerged out of the fog. I don't know where that came from. We'll keep an eye on it. 100% holy site adjacency bonus. To be fair, a science one, campus one would be nice because we're already getting the plus five adjacency bonuses for it. Right, you come and spread to this city. Boom. I welcome the words of your prophet. We must learn. So finally, someone's happy. Very rare you get a sieve who's happy to have their religion spread. And there we go. We get faith from all these trade routes as well. So we will build a road to Congo and hopefully become good friends. I can't give him more gold, but he is still unfriendly. Oh, he went for the Sanguine Pact. I cannot remember what that is. I think those are the vampires. Owls of Minerva, so the Ottomans have joined the Illuminati, uh, the Ottomans of the Zulu have joined the Illuminati-esque group. The Void Singers as well for Egypt, so they're the same as us. They'll be going for religion, a dark religion. Owls of Minerva again for Arabia, so they will be trying to play with things from the back. The Void Singers again for Nubia, and then Congo went for the Sanguine Pact, so I think there's going to be Congo Vampires, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and there's one other one, I can't remember what the other... The, the, no one's picked the science-y one, um, with the ley lines, whatever the heck they are. 
just yet anyway. Right, research construction or build two campuses. I'm not particularly close to either of those things, so don't worry. <laughs> Mathematics is nearly done. Right, I said I'd build the ancient walls to get another tech boost, so we'll do that. Let's get another production bonus there. And do we get another one? No, we only get one. So we'll take that as a production bonus. And we discovered a society. That doesn't matter, we've already joined one. It's too late to change. You can only pick one. Promotion, 100% extra great people points. Thank you very much. We'll take that straight away. Not that we have earned any. Oh, we're on for another great profit, but I cannot recruit one. So <laughs> that's, that's not so important, but we would be sort of in the hunt for the next great profit. Arabia is still miles away from getting one. So that is a good sign. Like that means our religion is going to have quite the head start, unless someone else has got one and I missed it in the middle. But oh yeah, Buddhism's here. Nubia has their religion, so we could both be fighting over spreading it to the Congo, but I feel like I'm going to have a good, reasonable advantage. There we go, spreading. Already arrived in two cities. Get to Mabanza, Congo. Go ahead. Oh, that volcano just erupted. You can see that exploding in the distance. Let's try to stop these guys getting back to their encampment. It's up there. Not too bad a place to worry about. We do have our own volcano to be very nervous about next to our campus and our holy site. So we'll keep an eye on that. I feel like there should be some defences. Maybe you can build volcano defences. Nothing great, but you know, just steer the lava away from the people, maybe. Okay, there's no point getting to three on these. Obviously being a suzerain would be the only main reason. Wow, every sieve's almost been... Four very diplomatic sieves, wow. Barracks in a stable, amphitheatre... I mean, we don't have any of this stuff. So I may as well just try and be the suzerain of someone who's nearby. Uh, Lisbon, you win. You, you've you won the vote. There you go. You get one envoy. There it is. You didn't have one. All right, let's go convert Zanzibar. If we can. Archer, keep chasing that scout. Let's not let him escape. And here we go. Boom. Your cities overflow with filth. Okay, don't know what I did to them. But there we go. We convert another city. They're probably just frustrated. I'm converting cities. They're not. Right, the old god obelisk will take 30 turns, very reasonable amount of time, in the city of Jimma. That's a cool name. Um, hopefully we will get a worker down here ASAP, get an iron mine. Um, I'll probably have to build it in the capital, but send it down, that should help. Right, missionary, spread to Zanzibar, didn't quite convert, but a bit of a boost for our religion. And then this missionary, sp oh, I've already spread there, never mind. Well, <laughs> reinforced it, I guess, at the very least. And we can actually purchase with faith again. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and do that. Another missionary. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, a third one. Up and running. Probably send that Egypt way. But yeah, so far so good. I mean we could just go super aggressive, try and take Nubia out immediately. <laughs> That'd probably be a bit harsh. But yeah, this one can come towards Egypt. Let's get started down there. You know, hinder them before they've even begun to form their own religion. Right, we've boosted two of these now. Let's get sailing. It only takes one turn. Right, okay. I desperately need a builder. I mean, I need money. I need a lot of things. But what happened to the trader? Oh, it is there. Okay. We just don't have a lot of money. I was getting hopeful, but nope. And there we go. Sailing completed. Nice and <laughs> nice and quick. There is the Zulu. Ah. Uh, Trying to get them. I feel like there's going to be tons when I get there. It's going to be very annoying. <clears throat> Research. Right, let's get engineering. It is boosted. And we get a great scientist. Fantastic. Which boosts education for us. And they will... What's their ability? What's your ability? Triggers Eureka for maths. I think we just oh, we just discovered that. And one random tech from the medieval era. Okay. I'll take that. That's good. Got a builder on the way. I probably need a few builders. But yeah, this city could do us some help just early on to uh, grow and mega colossal eruption right next to our city. Thank you. Destroying more of my stuff that I didn't want to be destroyed. Appreciate that. The campus just got absolutely rocked. Hopefully the great scientist. I'm going to give him a turn off. I think I don't want it to erupt again while he stood there. Okay, this you can take that warrior. You got this. Spread religion. There we go. Eastern Orthodox to another city. Right, this city, citizen management. Right, yes, lock that tile on. 
Um, 15 tiles so we get that iron mine, so that's fine. So yeah, just lock these, are the only two tiles you can work anyway. So that's fine. Right, and Addis Ababa, what tiles are you working? I have no idea. Free food. Genuinely, it seems okay. This one's not being worked. I mean, there's none that I'm seeing being worked that are, like, worse. There's a trade there. No, yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, that's perfect. Dang, that sucks. Look at we just charred the whole campus. We are going to have to deal with that a lot. That was that was the trade-off, I guess, for that awesome plus five bonus we got. Oh, we clear the encampment. Nice. Yeah, that was sort of the trade-off for the plus five uh, science bonus. We actually faded now. Culture's level. Well, I guess it's not. It doesn't count right now because the campus is destroyed. Build encampment. Build two campuses. I could do both of those. The second campus is going to take a while because we're going to need more tiles. This city is not going to be a brilliant one. I just needed something to feel better. I'm hoping there's like some good spots in this space. Um, be target of a declaration of war. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Bold thing to say, but I, I feel like we could be okay. Oh, they got grab Stonehenge down here in Egypt. We've already founded Islam, uh, but it's already already on the decrease in the capital. So if this missionary gets the spread. Who knows? Maybe, maybe there's a hope that we can, uh, if we get rid of them early on, that would be fantastic. Or re get rid of the religion, that is. Okay, we could build our unique rock-hewn church as well, which is pretty good. Camps, a lot of things. Okay, we don't even have that iron tile yet, so I guess we could go ahead and do this. Go ahead and build a plantation. You stay there. Right, this city is now going to have to repair the campus, as annoying as it is. One turn is not too bad. Right, convert. I don't think that's ever going to work, but worth a try. Barbarians, thank you for your help. There you go. I'm helping helping everyone with my super warrior. I don't know how it just killed that spearman. But that will be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Um, give me some advice. How, how on earth am I going to create the world's strongest religion while also fighting the Congo vampires? That will be exciting. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, yeah, oh, I've already said this. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.